from uh, Helsinki, Finland. Uh, here it is right now, 11.30 p.m., a little, a little uh, later than that. And as you can see, it's still light out. Uh, we just witnessed the most uh, beautiful sunset, and you probably can see that on... Um, you probably can see that on my on my Instagram feed or my Facebook feed. But anyways, I was I, I'm right, I am right here is because I was I wanted to use the the Wi-Fi here at the, at the TV room, but it turns out uh, that I can connect to the Wi-Fi for the live video. So this might look a little crappy, you know, uh, crappier than than my videos from home, but still. It's uh, it's great to be here. Hello, Petri. Uh, Petri, uh, you you have no idea how much uh, how grateful I am for for the opportunity to to visit your country here, Finland, and of course Norway and Sweden as well. Petri, I believe, is talking to us from Norway, by the way, and um, uh, and we've had a great time. This this was uh, a dream of uh, a trip of a lifetime, and. Um, and uh, and I hope this this looks uh, okay. I know the internet here at the at the Rastula campground is not the best, uh, but um, anyways, uh, I think you are able to see me. So I'm going to scroll down here uh, through some of these uh, comments. Uh, so good afternoon. In, in here is actually almost good morning. It is it is a little past 11:30. Yeah, and actually, let me see if I can show you. Since I'm here and I'm I'm, I'm not tied to the Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi didn't work, so I am on uh, on uh, on 4G LTE here. That's the sunset right there that just happened around 11 p.m. and it's it, it's it was beautiful. Now it, it doesn't do it justice. Anyways, I'm here at this uh, campground in Helsinki and. Uh, and we just finished the, the greatest, uh, tw well, we're not done yet, but we almost finished the, the greatest uh, trip of, of all time. Uh, some couple quarreling over there. Uh, tomorrow I might meet another YouTuber from Finland here. His name is Johnny and his wife Sarah. They, they, they drive a camper van and I might uh, get in touch with them tomorrow. Can you hear me okay, by the way? Uh, current travels, Mr. Ortiz, the vacations are going great. The two bodies, they're almost over. But um, it's it's been a great two weeks, and I got to experience uh, our being in Europe, and that's been a great eye-opening experience. Some things are much better than in the U.S. Some things are just different, you know. It's uh, it's it's a it's, it's a you know you have the cassette toilet, you don't have full hookups. Uh, some things are uh, in a while. Uh, the temperature right here right now, I'm, I'm starting to, to think metric. By the way, it it, was, it went up to 18 or 19 Celsius today, and right now I, I believe it is like in probably 15. It's it's in the 50s, in the 50s Fahrenheit, and it, it it's a little chilly right now, and the temperature is going to go down a little bit as it as it gets darker. Uh, but um, but it's not going to be too bad. Not, not as bad as when we were up in Nord Cap and in Lofoten in, in Norway. It went down nearly to freezing temperature. So that so that was um, a bit chilly. And by the way, tonight is probably the first night that I'm going to experience nighttime here in a few because I've been I've been in the land of middle midnight sun uh, <laughs> for for almost two weeks. Um, have you been on Brightline? Uh, what is Brightline? I don't know. How's the food? The food has been great. The salmon. They have to have the smoked salmon that is absolutely fantastic. It's, it's, you know, my favorite is it's like this um, open face sandwich. It's almost like a canapé. And they put, it's like a flatbread kind of. And then they put either cream cheese or mayonnaise. And then they put either smoked salmon or, or, or reindeer. And, and then some vegetables, and I, I love those things. Uh, they, they're very nice, um, and loud and clear. And, and I'm, 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 uh, I hope that the image is actually decent. I, I know that the LTE signal here is not the greatest, but um, I came over here to this area. The, the camper is actually way back there in the overflow area. I might give you a tour of the campground before before I sign off this video. Uh, 
It sounds like you're being shouted at. Yes, I'm, uh, William Storm, we are so close, man. Nice to see you here today. I'm sure greetings from William in Bruges. And from Guillermo Yanis, uh, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure I'm super behind on the comments, but anyways. Uh, so I'm running the, the, the high speed train in Florida. No, I haven't been to the high speed train in Florida. I haven't been. In I think my internet just died and just came back. I'm, I, I apologize for that. The, the internet is really bad in this area of Helsinki. By the way, the, the whole country, the, the whole country is blanketed with 4G LTE signal, even in the most remote areas, even here. And in Norway, in Sweden, it was a little hit or miss at, at some areas, but Iran and Norway has been great, the internet. It's, uh, yeah, one thing to be said for that. Um, greetings from Chattanooga, Tennessee. And uh, talking about Chattanooga, I'm sorry about that video. I know some of you guys have been uh, experiencing problems watching the Chattanooga video. I'm going to re-upload it as soon as I get to Miami. I'm going to rename it with, like, Director Scott. So I have to make a few changes because the thing is, I re-uploaded it from here, actually. So, uh, you know, I spent, like, 8 gigabytes of my data plan on that. I uh, Out of my, I had, like, 40 this month. And uh, YouTube said that it was exactly the same video I had uploaded and, and it rejected it, but re-upload that as soon as I get back. Uh, how long will you be in Finland? Well, in, I'm going to be here tomorrow and the day after tomorrow we're flying back to Fort Lauderdale. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, the trip is, is coming to an end and I've, of course I overbooked myself. You know, I, I did a little bit of poor planning as I usually do. Uh, but the, the, the public lighting is, is coming on here. Um, uh, too much driving, but I my 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 point here, my 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 thinking was, and I lost one day because I, I the, the flight from my from for Lauderdale was delayed, so I actually lost one day here. But I gained a, a couple of hours in Oslo, so I'm gonna do a video about Oslo, Norway too. But um, I drove too much, but I as I thought. Since I'm here and I don't know if when I'm going to come back to this area of the world, I want to go to the northernmost point in, in continental Europe, and that's called Nord Cap, which is way, way north. And um, and and I wanted to experience that. You know, I, I wanted to experience the midnight sun. Hey, Eric, this traveler, how are you, man? I'm having a I'm a little tired. I'll be honest about it, uh, but. Uh, uh, let me tell you, it's been a heck of a trip. We've I've driven a lot. I haven't. Uh, we we had very very crappy weather, especially in Norway. Uh, yeah, it is Friday, I think. I don't know. I've lost track of time. But hey, Barbara, greetings from Berlin. Greetings from uh, Helsinki. We are actually uh, kind of close. Not really, but yeah, it's uh, distance wise. Uh, looking forward to watch your new videos. Yeah, I have I have hours and hours of footage. Uh, they're in the hard drive and I can't wait to edit all this stuff. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do because it's a lot of driving. Um, but I fell in love with a couple of towns here in, in Finland, um, mainly in the town of Oulu. And I think, I, I hope it's pronounced that way. <laughs> I like to think of it like like a, like a, like a wolf howling. And I say, Oulu. But, <laughs> you know, it gets silly like that sometimes. And then today we went to the southeastern part of Finland and I really liked uh, this town is called um, well of course there, there's, uh, there's Turku which is the second city here in Finland and it was actually the first capital and uh, there, there's uh, there's this coastal town called Nantala that almost feels like like you are in um, in the French Riviera it's really really nice very cool very cool little town and earlier today in the morning I was at, uh, at Rauma Rauma is um, is a, uh, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it's like a medieval town, and and uh, overall it, it was a great time. And I don't know why this camera keeps going out of focus. This is my new Samsung, and uh, hmm, uh, love the videos with your mom. Very heartwarming. She looks to have passed uh, on her photogenic genes to you. Well, yeah, I learned a lot of what I know about photography and all that from her. So. Uh, yeah, and she had a great time on that trip. Uh, we hadn't taken a trip together in, in a while. Uh, greetings from Jensen Beach, Florida. Well, greetings from Helsinki here in in the in the land of Suomi, Finland. Uh, by the way, I also liked Helsinki a lot, and I did go visit uh, my friend Peteri at his uh, hometown of Varkaus, 
uh, which is also a very cool. We we camped next to a lake, and it was well, 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 that's where I shot the video of uh, of the tour of the motorhome, which I might give you a tour of the campground before we sign off here. Uh, greetings from Stutt Stuttgart. Hello there. And Red Jaguar 100, hope you're being safe and enjoying yourself. Well, yeah, it's it's been a lot of driving. I've driven them. I, I think uh, I think Vitali, the guy that I met in 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 Tur, you know, in, in um, what was the name of that place? Uh, Por Porvo, Por Provo, Por Porvo. Uh, he said that that my trip was like seven thousand kilometers. It was being a lot. I I overbooked myself in driving, but I wanted to see some very far away places since, since I was here. You know, the only way to see those places is either going from here or, or Norway, and uh, especially a, a, a Nord Cap, which is the northernmost point. And uh, I wanted to see the midnight sun. Uh, we got crappy weather, but still, it was an experience. Uh, I wait till you see those videos. Uh, Mona, Mona Cake. I'm going to be here in Finland for two more days and you might hear the, the train. We're really close here to the train station, so tomorrow I'm going to take the the train to to downtown. Hey, Red, it's going to be, uh, uh, I'm going to be in Amelia Island. You might try to find you. Oh, Amelia Island, cool. Uh, this, gotta walk the dogs. Uh, what if someone starts cursing here, man? <laughs> Hello, Christina from San Antonio, Texas. Any good IPAs in Finland? Oh, yes. They have a lot of different IPAs here in, in Finland and in, in Sweden also. I actually have a... I was going to... Um, I was going to... Um, uh, what you call it? Uh, I was going to drink the beer here, but the beer is back at the RV. I came all the way here to the to the TV room because I thought I was going to be able to watch, to, to use the Wi-Fi, but... And it was a good high-speed Wi-Fi, but uh, the phone didn't want to work. So uh, there you go. So yeah, IPAs all over the place. Uh, it seems to be a very, very popular uh, beer. In, in Norway, not so much. They have this lager beer that is like their national beer and that they drink that a lot. But uh, here in Finland and in, in Sweden, very good, very good IPA uh, for sure. Uh, great to see you live, Robert. Uh, great, uh, great to follow you on these great adventures. Thanks for sharing, and you're welcome to me. I mean, if you want to see pictures of the adventure, you know where to go, right? You, you have my my Instagram, traveling Robert, and uh, I'm gonna be, keep posting pictures there because I haven't posted all the pictures that I took. Although most of what I took is video, and it's 4K video, so I, I'm gonna start posting a lot of video stills from from that that 4K footage, and it should be as good as a picture. Oh, so a lot, of, a lot of good stuff. Um, uh, have a great couple of last days. Look forward to the footage. Bye from Yeovil in England for now. Well, there you go in England one hour earlier. By the way, I am seven hours ahead of you guys. I'm coming to you from the future. If you are on the east coast of the United States, I'm seven hours ahead. If you are on the west coast, I'm ten hours ahead. So by the time I finish this broadcast, it might be f Saturday for me already. Um, Carl Batman, okay. Um, hello from Medellin, Colombia. I can't wait to see all the videos. And uh, yeah, it's been it's 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 been a lot of. Um, um, I'm kind of tired, <laughs> to be honest. The price of gas, oh man, it's I I haven't even calculated. It's it's measured in liters. And uh, it's it's a, a, a euro and change in liters. I want to say 160 or something like that, but I'm not certain. Because then in Norway, they started charging me in kroners. Uh, and in, in Sweden, too, they started charging me in different corners. So it's it's been, yeah, the only country that I've been that has euro is here in, uh, in Finland. But yeah, the gas is expensive. Filling up the, by the way, that, that's a Fiat Ducato that I've been driving. It's about 100 bucks. Uh, you know, filling it up from three quarters to full. Wow, the sun is still up. You're very far north, and 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 this is the first time it's got it's actually gotten kind of dark uh, here in, in uh, where where I was uh, two nights ago. The sun was still up at uh, this time. Uh, hey, traveling Robert. Hope you have fun on your European tour. You aren't missing anything in Florida. It's raining every day here. Yeah, my mom and my stepson have been telling us uh, that. Uh, here, actually, it rained a lot when I was in up in Norway. 
for the, pretty much all the time I was in Norway. It, it, it didn't ruin that part of the trip, but it kind of did because I was in such, uh, oh man, I was in such beautiful scenic places that uh, I wish the weather had been better, to be honest. It, it ruined our experience of the midnight sun. And we were at this beach. Uh, let, 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 well, wait till you see this, that, that part of the video. And there were, there were little sheep uh, walking around all over the place and the, the, on the beach. Had it been clear, I would have gotten a clear view of the midnight sun kind of dipping in close to the ocean and then going back up. But, you know, it was cloudy. It was, it was, it was, it was either quite cloudy or raining, so we couldn't do that. Now you are close to Sweden. Well, I was in Sweden like three days ago. I, I, I didn't do much. I just drove straight through. But yeah, I was in, in I was in Sweden, in the in the I guess in the in the northern part of Sweden. Uh, Preparing here, behind us in Rumbos. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that super chat. I really appreciate it. Uh, I gotta go, Robert. Have a great night. Can't wait to the videos. All right, Ted. And I'm gonna edit this stuff as, as quickly as possible. But first, I'm going to finish uh, the Kentucky trip. I have to finish that. Hello from Estonia. Oh man, you're like a stone throw away from me. I could just take the the ferry probably. <laughs> you're going to need two weeks to rest up from your trip when you get home. Yeah, it's, I'm gonna need a vacation from my vacation definitely. But this was a unique experience. I mean, it's 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 bucket list material. What what we we've done. And I get to experience RVing in Europe. And let me tell you something. This is something that I want to do in the future. Uh, maybe when, when we are more full time and more really uh, uh, living the RV dream full time. I, I want to like come for six months and buy maybe something cheaper than what I have right now. Uh, and, and, and spend six months roaming. Uh, you know, I, I've, made, I've made my peace with the cassette toilet. It's really not as bad. The only thing is that, that it fills up really quick. So maybe if I get a spare, it will be perfect. Do, do you bring your family along with you on your RV? Well, my wife is here. She's at the RV right now. I just came to this area because the internet seems to be better here. I was hoping to use the Wi-Fi, but still. Stunning forums are on your Instagram. Oh, Georgie, thank you. I'm sure you are tired, relax, and take your last uh, few days abroad. Look forward to your videos. That knows. What knows, man? What happened to my nose? Uh, have you retired yet? No, actually, I'm 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 just not working for anybody else, but I'm working for myself here on YouTube, and I'm actually probably working harder than ever. Can I ask your opinion on a man? Uh, I don't. I'm not gonna comment about that. Uh, I like your tour of Florida. Well, we're going back to Florida. We're probably going to the Florida Keys next weekend. Next weekend, so that's that's uh, the idea. Uh, greetings from Sudan. I tour all over Europe for work. Very nice place. Enjoy it. Always nice to see you, especially live. Thank you so much, Mustafa. And I have enjoyed this uh, this trip around Europe tremendously. And um, I really have to thank uh, my friend Petri that invited me here um, because you know it's it's being. Uh, it, uh, without his invitation, I probably would have never, oh, not never, never say never, but uh, I would have have come here at this time and really discovered this country of Finland. Finland is great. The Finnish people are, are, are amazingly uh, friendly and um, actually all, all the people around here. So, uh, Leanne, how are you liking Finland? I liked it. I like, I've liked it a lot. Uh, there's... Um, there's Helsinki, of course. There's, there's uh, so, so many different places. And when we went up, we, uh, we went up to the Lapland. There's, there's so much, so, so much variety of, of, of landscapes too. And uh, today we went to the southwestern corner of Finland. It was great, as I said earlier in the video. Uh, I like the city of Oulu. I am. Um, and the north, the, the, the Lampland is, is an area, it's, it's, it's really not, um, not mountainous or anything like that. It's about a, a lot of lakes, a lot of wilderness. But it is it's, it's so different, you know. And, uh, and when the sun never goes down, you know, it's... Uh... How long do you really want to stay in Europe? Well, eventually I want to take a, a six-month uh, road trip. 
Does the motor have a, have a generator? Okay. Let me tell you, the motorhome does not have a generator, does not have a solar. And we've been charging it because since we've been driving every day, it's been charging the battery uh, with the motor, and the battery has lasted all night long. Even I even bought a, a, an inverter because it didn't it didn't come with an inverter either, but it has been a lifesaver. But the battery lasted all night long with the furnace uh, on, and. Um, and that inverter charging all our batteries. So it, it, it has behaved greatly. And the one thing that is different here in motorhomes, and that's another thing why we've been boondocking so much, is you don't have a city water connection, you know, with, uh, with the pressure. You're, you are always using the water in, the, in, your, in your fresh water tank because cans here in Europe, they don't have a full hookups, it's only electrical. So, Either you have a you know a, a honey wagon tank, or you have to come to the to the the place where you uh, fill up with water and uh, and dump your your fresh your your gray water pretty much every 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 couple of days. And the cassette toilet for me it fills up every day. Every but we use it like we would use a, a black tank in in America. And I guess over here people use a lot more like the campground facilities. So yeah, hey, yo, John Shocker, did you mount the GoPro on the RV or, or is it a suction cup? No, in this one I just mounted it on the windshield on a suction cup. You know, I wasn't good. <laughs> I put it aside. Uh, from Saltmar, Tennessee. Hello. And but let me tell you something: the 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 flexibility of having a, an actual motorhome, something that you can park in the city and just to walk around for a couple of hours go back and then go someplace else if you if you want to do that type of fast pace uh, traveling you know like you i'm not gonna you know you don't you're not gonna stay two or three nights at, at the same campground the, the, a small motorhome is the way to go I'm, I'm in love with this thing and uh, where I, I, the next the next thing i'm getting it, it's it's definitely as a short motorhome I mean, it's also nice to, to, to have a trailer, leave it somewhere and on, on hitch and then drive around in the smaller vehicle. But um, you can, 99% of the time I've been able to find parking for the motorhome here in Europe, even in, in downtown. I, I just parked a couple of hours ago right next to the cathedral in, in I was in the town, in Turku, which is like a huge city. Hey Alex, <laughs> miss you. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's, that's that's your culture, lifestyle, and travel. That's your channel. Cool man, you're making good videos. I I, I saw the one that you made you made in Orlando. Uh, hey, this you're back. This is five gallon cassette. will miss you. <laughs> I'm making my peace with the, with the cassette toilet. Actually, as I said earlier, and what I'm going to do if I ever uh, that's the long term plan to spend six months here in Europe. Um, traveling around, I'll get a spare cassette toilet. Just when it fills up, like like the reason, the, the the main reason I'm here at this campground today, and I had to make a last minute call, and and I'm in overflow because they don't have anything, is because my cat's cassette toilet uh, filled up, and I couldn't find any place to 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 dump it uh, between between where I was, which is Turku and here. I'm sure there are places. Some people say that you can dump it in a, in a regular toilet. I don't know, it's five gallons you're, you're going down, so I don't think that's really the case. And question, what does it smell like in Finland? Any new smells? Well, I'm kind of stuffy right now, but I haven't really felt that, uh, any any new smells. I mean, the food, yeah, you, 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 you smell a little different, but no, it's, for the most part, and this is something that is weird, and uh, maybe in the it sounded different to me, but it's it, it's still the same world, you know. We, we we do things a little different here and there, and the, the cars look different, and the trucks look different, and the rules of the road are a little different. Uh, but it's you know it's we it's 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 we are more alike that than we are different uh, for sure. Uh, scratch that rubber, I'm back. Uh, just a couple of minutes. What did I miss? I didn't miss much. I was just uh, rambling here. I have no idea what I talked about. Uh, if you ever, will you ever buy a camper van like the Russo family? 
I don't know. That's kind of uh, small. I've I've seen actually tomorrow. I'm, if, if if all goes well, I'm going to visit a couple who lives here in their camper van and have something very similar to what the Russos have. Uh, but that's that's kind of on the smallest side. I would like to, I would like to have something uh, maybe uh, maybe shorter than what I have right now. I have what, what would be the equivalent of a 25 footer. Maybe I would like like a 22, 23, or maybe even shorter than that. But I would like to have a wide body. That that's the one thing that feels very claustrophobic about the camper vans, like the, the like the Russos, like like Joe and Kate. Uh, good to see and hear you. Thank you. Um, uh, hello from Auburn, Maine. Looks like you're having fun. Hey, boom, docking Maine, as my friend Rennie Champagne from Maine. Uh, I'm going to visit you in a couple of months, so be ready. Um, uh, you are our motivator for our videos and RV lives. Thank you so much, Alex. Uh, that's that's really great, uh, great to hear. I'll be in Miami in two days, so I like your style. Thank you so much, the cruising crew. And uh, I'm sorry today. This video is a little, uh, uh, in, in, uh, you know, what's the word? It's not impromptu. It's like uh, like shooting from the hip here. I don't have like my sophisticated graphics and. Uh, and the, and the chat here on the side, but you know, it's, it's just a live video here from my phone. And as, the, as night falls here, and as you can see, night, night, night's been falling for like an hour uh, here in, in Helsinki. It's, um, it takes a long time at this light, it's just for the sun to actually go down and get dark. And I don't know if it's gonna get totally dark tonight, probably not. Probably it's, it's gonna get a little darker than this, and by, by 3 a.m. it starts getting lighter. Uh, they all have benefits a b and c yeah it's hard to find that what is right for you i think i think right for me is going to be a short uh, travel a short uh, well you saw the video the uh, what i have right now here in europe has been great maybe a, a slightly different uh, layout for floor plan and maybe something slightly shorter but that's it that's that's what i want Right now, I might change my mind in, uh, in, in five years and get a fifth wheel, but for now, this is what I want. I think we're Robert, I think where Robert is feeling, or any country like that, smells fresh without smog. There's no, I mean, Helsinki is a huge city, and in downtown, it's, it's, it's like, you know, like, like, it's like London, Paris, Madrid. It's like any other big city in Europe, so there's a bit of smog, like everywhere else, but outside of here in, in the countryside it's it's pure nature man even even though the country is it's I, I expected it to be a little more out there like wild like like alaska and it's not there's uh, there's um, the, the highways are very well maintained there's there's towns like every so often you know and um and all the main roads are blanketed with 4G LTE signals, so it's uh, I was able to get it to stay, in, you know, communicated at all times. Uh, after Finland, I'm going back to Florida, and then in the fall, uh, probably the northeast. Uh, when you come up to Pennsylvania in the fall, come up to Cherry Spring State Park. Okay, I'll have to remember that. I'm sorry. Uh, which part are you in? I was in Tam Tampere. You, you mean in, uh, in in Helsinki? I'm I'm in the in the east area. That that's like the only campground here. Uh, uh, I'm staying in Finland for two more days. Unfortunately, this uh, epic road trip is coming to an end. And uh, yeah, uh, but you know, hey Robert, just wanted to say I uh, love your channel. Thank you so much. Like your videos on Paris. Yeah, Paris is another city. But but the next time. Uh, I go to France, so I might do it in a motorhome. Now I'm hooked. I'm hooked with this uh, this uh, style of travel. So who knows? Beers on me when you get back. All right, man. We'll get one of those uh, uh, Wingwood <laughs> IPAs and no guitar. My well, I couldn't bring my guitar. You know, it's, it, it, traveling by air is, is enough hassle as it is. You know, if I bring a guitar, you know. No. Nice to see him from you. Did you like that song Light T69L? I love that song Light T69L, P3. Um, and the only the only thing it's uh, perhaps for me when I when I buy one I might get something slightly shorter because of parking in certain areas. 
but it, it is really good. I've made my peace with the cassette toilet. I was a little, uh, at the beginning, I was a little preoccupied with that, but you know, it is what it is. It is the way it is the way you guys do things here in Europe. So you, if you if you want if you want to RV here, you have to get used to it, and and uh, and that's what I've done. Uh, don't be sorry about the video feed. You're awesome to even be able to broadcast. I'm sorry if the if the video doesn't look great, but I, I I'm really happy birds. Yeah, there's oh there's there's some crazy uh, suicidal birds on the roads. I almost killed a couple of them, and I I'm sure some of some of that uh, showed up on video. I, I also saw a lot of reindeer, especially up north, and I saw an elk to, uh, yesterday. I saw an elk. Was it an elk? No, it was a moose actually, a moose. Uh, Kevin and Lisa, hey, hey, Kevin and Lisa. I hope that you that your work on YouTube is beneficial for you in a very long time. It's certainly a benefit for us. And regrets re, regards to your wife's happy trails. Thank you so much, uh, Road Wonder, and uh, and I really hope so. I really want to do this for the rest of uh, my life. I mentioned, and you know, tell 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 you my stories of travel. You know, it's it's it, I'm I'm never gonna be a tra one of those travel channels that goes. I've tried it and I failed. I one of those channels that goes, 10 best things to do in Helsinki. No, I'm just going to tell you the story of how I did Helsinki. And um, hopefully you can you can be entertained by that and inspired. And, and of course, we're going to continue uh, our being in the United States. And thank you so much, Alex, for that uh, super chat, man. I really, really do appreciate it. And uh, uh, I'm going to get an APA, actually. As, as I have an APA waiting for me in the, in the camper when I get back there, actually. I'm gonna start walking back because what time is it now? Oh, this is this is two hundred. It's twelve oh four. It's a little bit after midnight here, so I'm gonna start walking back to to the camper and show you a little bit of the campground. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk uh, here a little low because you know uh, people are starting to to go to sleep. Although at this time of the year, people are like in, in holiday mode here since since it, it it doesn't get dark until very late. Let me know if, if you lose the signal, by the way, and then I'll, I'll stop moving. Uh, Modern, hope you have enjoyed your stay in Finland, my home country. Yes, I have enjoyed Finland tremendously. You have no idea. This has been a great, a, a great experience for, for me and my wife, uh, for sure. Haven't been there yet. Thanks for bringing us along. Uh, amazing trip you guys must be homesick well in in, in a sense we are uh, in a sense this was a little rush this trip would have been great for a month instead of two weeks because a lot of places i had to rush a lot of places i had to skip because you know it is what it is the, the day only has uh, so many hours even though it, it didn't really get dark here ever but you still get tired and have to go to sleep. Oh, happy Father's Day. Thank you so much. And happy Father's Day to all the fathers. I, I didn't forget that this weekend is Father's Day. Um, will you be coming to the UK anytime soon? I don't know. Uh, maybe. Maybe. I would love to go back to, to, to visit the UK once again because I, I really liked London. And I want to visit other places as well. You know, I, I, I was in Bath for like two hours maybe. And I would like to spend at least two days in Bath. What a, what a, what a wonderful uh, city. Well, the sun's still up at midnight. Yeah, the, this is nothing. I, I, you sh I should have been able to make a video like three days ago or four days ago. In, in Lofoten, I, I stayed at a beach that the sun was up in the air. That, that it didn't never, never got down. Have you experienced much of a language barrier? Well, believe it or not, most people here speak very decent English. Um, I experienced a bit of a language barrier in, in some places in the countryside, but still, the, the young people speak English amazingly well. It's it's like uh, oh, uh, no ba barrier at all. Today, the, there was this lady at the... Um, uh, at, the uh, Rauma, which is the the World Heritage Site, and she didn't quite understand very well, but she still tried, and everybody tries, everybody uh, tries to to help you out, and uh, and I, 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 I the, the only word I really learned is uh, thank you, which is uh, is kitos, and that's it. <laughs> that's the only way I learned. Everybody, 
every the, uh, but the beer in Finland is great. But we have one thing here that is, is kind of odd for us uh, in America. The, the, uh, and it's the same in Finland, in Sweden, and in Norway. The only place where you can buy alcohol is this uh, government-owned uh, store. Here is called Alco. And uh, I forgot the, the rules here, but in Norway, for example, you cannot buy alcohol at all on a, on a Sunday. And it was Norway, no? Yeah, it was in Norway or Sweden? Norway. So, so last Sunday we, we was a dry night in Lofoten, but, um, you know, it, it, every country has their rules. So, uh, but I, I, oh, my lens is so, so dirty. Let me, let me clean this up a little bit. Oh, where's my lens? It's on this side. But well, this is a relatively new phone. Anyway, I'm not going to do that. Almost 50,000 subs, uh, Robert. Awesome stuff. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much. And um, I'm, uh, I'm your other slave. Uh, wonderful. Any plans to do Matt Lache again? Yeah, at some point I want to do Matt Lache again. I don't have any set plans, to be honest. Um, uh, when you show up with the ring, it's kippies. Yeah, I know, kippies. That, that's another word that I learned, uh, but... Uh, you know, it's. It, it, I'm, I'm starting to to understand words here and there, and that's the one funny thing about uh, traveling, is that uh, little by little you you start like understand you you start getting the the, the language onto you, and you start under understanding a, a little more. Actually, let me let me talk softly here because I'm going to go through. This is the campground. Let me show you guys. That's a trailer right there. I'm slowly going back to, to Minitini. Here you're getting a first glimpse at a European campground. By the way, they told these travel trailers, they're very light. They tow them with a, with a regular passenger car. It's really, it's really funny to watch sometimes on the road because there's really this really wide trailer and there's like a like a small passenger car towing it how do you sleep uh, when it doesn't get dark well i just uh, you know we're so tired at night oh check it out out that's a cool little camper um we just uh, we're just so tired and we put the blinds you know the 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 rv has blackout blinds that you that you can pull and uh, yeah you sleep you know the food is good the food is good they have great uh, smoked salmon and they uh, eat reindeer and then they have uh, all kinds of stuff actually their hamburgers are amazing the other night i had a hamburger i knew that as soon as i started walking uh, the connection was going to, uh, you know, amazingly enough, I haven't seen that many. Well, here's one VW van, but I haven't seen that many. Uh, we're the Finland is two hours ahead of the UK in time. It looks like uh, early morning well, because, you know, it doesn't really get dark here. The sunset just happened here. A couple of um, bike boats. Oh, thank you so much, for the bike boats. Uh, works for that uh, super chat i'm sorry i'm talking uh started a new channel bay boat are you scott man you you keep me <laughs> uh, confused here let me uh, I'm, I'm sorry if i'm talking soft here but this is like a very quiet campground and it is past midnight here so um, i'm trying to to keep a low profile as i walk around but i wanted to show you see this is the semi-integrated class C very similar to ours it's 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 amazing the RVing is so popular here here in Europe uh, when I was especially up north the northern you go it's it's almost check it out check that check out that trailer it's almost like you see more more RVs than cars in, in some of these roads way up north it's incredible Wait, wait, that that back there, that's where you dump the cassette toilet. It's like a bathroom and it has like a, 
this sink. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I didn't want to talk too loud back there because, you know, people are sleeping. But the way this is rusty like I'm ground, this is a city cam ground, this is the city right back there. So, oops, it went out of focus on me. All right, everybody, I'm going to um, call it a night here. I'm going back, I'm going back to, to, to the camper back there. And, um, and uh, anyways, <laughs> I'm so glad to be able to chat uh, with you all uh, this evening and uh, coming to you here from Finland where it is uh, past midnight and it is still kind of light out. Uh, Traveling Robert Ely in the, in the, in the, in the, what do we call it? We call it the Savonia because that's the name of the, of the company that Peter has that rented it to us. So uh, we named it Savonia in honor of that. So that's the name of our, of our motor home here in Finland. And that's what I'm calling it and I'm sticking to it. And uh, ooh, it's, it's getting dark and the phone is having a hard time focusing on me, so good night, guys. Uh, thank you so much uh, for watching and, uh, and uh, I'll see you on the road very soon, very soon. Watch out, uh, look out for those videos from Finland. I, I, think, I think they're going to be great. Bye. Bye, guys. I'm not going to sing because people are sleeping in the campground. Ciao. Arrivederci.